How is it going, everybody? You're watching that about tech, and today I'm gonna present you Apple Intelligence 2.0, and that's actually powered by iOS 18.2. That's right, Apple has just released iOS 18.2 on its first beta, which enables a ton of new features related to Apple intelligence. So, without further ado, let me show you them all. Of course, I have to start talking about ChatGPT integration. That's right, ChatGPT is finally here on your iPhone natively inside Apple intelligence. Let me show you right now. So, if I bring up Siri and I ask her something she doesn't know or she can't do, she'll ask for ChatGPT. So, if I go ahead and do this. Siri, can you help me plan a trip, a one week long trip to Europe next summer? And then, as you can see, I'll need to use ChatGPT to write that. Should I go ahead? So then I can tap on use ChatGPT. It'll start working natively inside your iPhone, as you can see, inside Apple Intelligence, and you have it all here. I love to help you plan the trip, and then you have all days and everything like that in a full itinerary. This is so, so cool. As you can tell, it'll always ask you every single time it needs to use ChatGPT. It'll make it very, very clear simply because, as you probably already know, Apple Intelligence, Apple's AI, is on device and ChatGPT uses the cloud. So it'll send your information to third party servers. That's why, for privacy reasons, it'll ask you and make it very clear when it's using ChatGPT, like it was in this case that you just saw. But ChatGPT is not only inside Siri, it's also inside your writing tools and writing tools is actually way better not only because of ChatGPT but it got smarter so if you're not really sure what writing tools are there are this feature that lets you use analyze rewrite proofread any text on your iPhone like for example this text here on my notes as you can see we have this icon right here for writing tools I can tap on it and then as you can see we'll have here the writing tools and you can do a ton as you can see so as I said proofread rewrite make it more friendly professional concise summarize key points and so on and we already had that in iOS 18.1 but now in 18.2 we have two new features first we have here a new box and this is Apple in intelligence is very easy to see because of the icon and we have another option called compose and this is chat gpt let me show you both so let's imagine that you want to change your tax but you don't like any of those options you want something for you all right specifically individual for you so i have this text right here that i wrote down this is just a demonstration okay this is not real and as you can see it's pretty aggressive like are you kidding me do you honestly believe i'll accept this offer so it's pretty aggressive so what i can do is simply tap here on this new option for Apple intelligence and say for example make it so make it more elegant so make it more elegant because I don't like the way it sounded so I can go ahead and send and as you can see it'll start rewriting automatically let it do its thing it's still rewriting and as you can see it's just finished so as you can see, it's gonna make it more, I do genuinely expect to accept your proposal, you're suggesting, so it's making more elegant as you can see right here, but of course, without changing the whole uh, idea of what I'm saying, right? I can tap on done or I can revert. Let me go back, let me revert to the original, but of course I could have that as a final option. And if I swipe up, as you can see, let's talk about chat GPT inside the writing tool. So if I tap here on compose, as you can see right here, compose with chat GPT. So as I mentioned before, every time you use chat GPT on your iPhone, every time it's available, it's actually gonna make it very, very clear it's chat GPT, it's not. Apple intelligence. So in this case, of course, I can do so, so, so much more because ChatGPT is way smarter than your typical Apple intelligence. Let me show you an example. I can say, uh, pretend, pretend this is my assistant. So instead of, instead of being the text where I'm saying it, let's pretend my assistant wrote it so then I can send it to this person pretending it was my assistant. So as you can see, uh, it'll change completely 
pretending it was my assistant so it can do much much more instead of just changing uh the idea of the text it it can change completely the whole thing rewrite the whole thing and of course it'll understand way more complex inputs like you saw right here something that apple intelligence on its own just can't do Oh, and please keep in mind that everything that I'm about to show you right now related to the writing tools are not only restricted here to your notes, you can use it anywhere. So in your notes app, uh, in your email, from articles in Safari, absolutely anywhere. But of course, Apple Intelligence 2.0 is not just ChatGPT. It can do so, so much more. Like for example, this new feature called Visual Intelligence, which is exclusive to the iPhone 16 series because it requires a new camera control. So if I press and hold, not only press, press and hold, as you can see, and you can already see the highlight, I can use my camera, my viewfinder, to search and check objects on the fly. Like, for example, if I go ahead and get here my baseball cap. So let's go ahead here, move it a little bit far away from it, and then tap on one of those two buttons. This one, the one on the left, will actually say what it is. So it's gonna describe what it is. It's working, as you can see right here at the top. So it's working and then you have it right here. This hat features the iconic Boston Red Sox logo, a hallmark and so on. So it will describe on the fly. And of course, you can follow up with ChatGPT. So you can ask something else, you can interact with it, so you can do anything as you wish. Of course, you can cancel that. And then we have the other button, the second button, which is this one right here, which will search the image with something else so as you can see right here it actually easily search so give you options of course give you even shopping options so you can buy one so it'll tell you what it is and actually image search reverse image search for you so 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 convenient and of course you can do it for a ton of stuff not only like objects with uh for example logos and so on but you can cancel that cancel that and let me use this little plant here so if I go ahead here and tap again to search, just to tell you what it is, right? So ChatGPT GPT is thinking. So as you can see, this small lush potted plant appears to be a succulent, no, it's a thick water, sorry, leaves. So it understands it's a plant, okay? And as you can see, I can close that and reverse search it, as you can see. So it's searching with Google this time. And as you can see, it got pretty much perfectly image search of what it is so very very cool this possibility this ability to use your camera to check exactly what you're seeing in your environment now of course we have to talk about one of the coolest new features of ios 18.2 image playground and i know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me daniel how did you manage to get it working how did you get access and guys you have to wait on your settings apple intelligence as you probably already know you need to request access for image creation right here within apple intelligence and you have to wait it took me over a week to get this feature and that's why i'm only posting this video right now you have to wait there's nothing else you can do so let me show you image playground and genmoji when you open up image playground you have pretty much two options you either start with a description of an image or you can actually upload a photo of yours and then manipulate it with AI. So let me show you both. For example, I can describe an image. So uh, Apple Intelligence can generate an image based on text. For example, I can say sports car and then send and then it'll just create that image for me of a sports car as you can see and then as you can see right here it'll give me actually a few options with different colors sometimes different wheels and so on so this is how it works as you can see image playground will always give you this cartoonish feel as you can see it won't be realistic and this is on purpose okay so it will always be like a little bit cartoonish as you can see but as i said maybe you don't want to create an image you want to change an image you already have like a photo of yourself let me show you so you go ahead here and tap on plus as you can see and then choose photo and as you can see you can choose two different styles so animation or illustration and as i said it's always going to be like a little bit cartoonish so not realistic so let's tap on choose photo i'm going to select this one as you can see and then it's going to start importing as you can see as well 
and then it automatically creates an image of myself. Take a look at this. As you can see, we have a few options right here, but it, it looks really, really good as if like a professional drew it. I mean, I, I think it looks like myself. I don't know if you if you agree with me, but it looks pretty, pretty cool. But of course, you can do much more than that because here you can tap on show more and you can change a lot. For example, you can change the theme to an adventure theme. So then it's going to use my image and the theme to make this kind of situation right here. This is so cool. I can make it a starry night and then it's gonna add on top as you can see. So it won't just have two options or one option. No, you can keep adding, keep adding themes as you can see. Of course, you can go ahead here and choose uh, a completely different thing. Like for example, make me like an astronaut. So it's gonna combine everything already like a starry night, like an adventure myself. And on top of that, I am an astronaut. And as you can see, uh, you have accessories, you have places, so this is so, so nice. This is Image Playground and I love it. And of course, when you're done, you can go ahead, tap here on the three dots and then save this image if you want you to your library or share it with any social media, with your contacts, your typical sharing process. So this is so, so nice. But of course, we also have Genmoji, as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and open up our messages. And then let me tap here on Emoji. And we have this brand new icon right here. And please keep in mind, you can use Genmoji anywhere. So not only on your messages, you can use it, for example, on WhatsApp, on your direct messages on Instagram, and on any application that can actually open your keyboard. So anywhere on your iPhone, okay? This is completely universal and within the iOS itself. It's not specific to iMessage, okay? So you can tap here to create a new Genmoji and then you can describe it like anything. So the idea here is that you can actually create exclusive emojis to really describe what you're seeing or doing or make your message way more exclusive and individual. Like for example, uh, let's say I just bought a green bicycle, but there's no emoji for a green bicycle. But of course, I can go ahead and type it in. So I can go for green uh, bicycle, as you can see. Let's see how it goes. Of course, it's gonna create very easily, but I want it more. I want, I want a bicycle with a basket, with a basket. And as you can see, it's gonna create right here out of the blue and we can edit. And of course, we can already send on our messages. So you can create a very, very specific individual just for you emoji. This is so, so cool. This is happening because I'm sending this to myself. Let me give you another example, like a cappuccino. Let it load. And then, as you can see, we're gonna have here a cappuccino. This looks so, so cool. Take a look at this. So you can go ahead and add. And last but not least, let me give you another option because I really like this one as well. So if I tap here, uh, let's say I'm eating steak with fries. So steak with fries. So it's a very specific dish, right? And as you can see right here, steak with fries. Take a look at this, how cool. So you can add and then we can already use it, as I mentioned, so nice. And I want to throw in a bonus right here, which is the new interface with new features for your mail. A lot of people were waiting for this for so, so, so long, and it's finally here. As you can see, we have this slightly new interface with new icons as soon as it uh, analyzes what it is. For example, airline, so it knows it's like uh, an airline, so it's gonna give you an airplane right here. So depending on what you have, depending on our contacts, it'll actually tell you what it is and give you a little icon. You can separate it via uh, categories, as you can see. So primary, if it thinks it's important, transactions, so things you bought, uh, you have here updates, you have here as well promotions, and of course, all mail. If you slide all the way to the right, we will just show you everything uncategorized, as you can see. And if you tap here on the top right hand corner, it'll give you two options. So the category view or your simple list view, which is a usual view if you want that. And of course, you have here about categories and it'll tell you all of the categories. So primary transaction updates, promotions, and so on, as you just saw. Since I like the categories, I'm going to leave it like that. So that's something new in iOS 18.2 as well. And so that's it. 
that's what I wanted to show you today. Please keep in mind that this is not a full in-depth review of iOS 18.2. There are a ton more stuff, but of course, I wanted to focus this video on Apple Intelligence 2.0, as we're calling it, because of course, this is the biggest deal, and I wanted to show you on day one, so right off the bat, very, very soon. Please wait for a full video very shortly as soon as we have more beta versions and of course when 18.2 is finally released to the public. Until then, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.